Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're looking at the chat set Atris script for Roll20. This script allows you to set or modify values on your character sheet, which enables your macros to do things like automatically deduct class resources when you use them, or automatically restore HP when you drink a potion. Note that because we're using the API, a pro account is required in order to use this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So I've done a bunch of videos for macros on Roll20, and one of the most common questions I get is, hey, is there a way to make this healing potion macro automatically update the HP on my character sheet? Or, oh hey, I just generated ferocity for my beast heart, is it possible to automatically update the amount of ferocity they have? Or, I'm a cleric, I just turned undead, can I automatically reduce the amounts of channel divinity I have left? And the answer to that is, yes you can, with chat set Atra. So what we're gonna do today is take a quick look at the basic syntax of chat set Atra, and then I'll walk you through three examples of how we can use it. One for the beast heart, one for the cleric, and one for the healing potion. So first thing we need to do is actually load the script into our game. Chat set Atra is part of the Roll20 script library, so click on the script library tab here, go to the dropdown, search for chat set Atra, select it, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen and say add script. You're gonna get this prompt saying that its dependencies may be used by other scripts, just go ahead and say okay to this, it's totally fine, you're not gonna have any trouble. Now one other thing, I would like to do a quick shout out of thanks to Jacob for writing this script. This is a really awesome script, really helpful. Jacob, thank you for everything that you do for the community. All right, now that we've got our script installed, let's take a look at how to use it. So let's look at a real simple example. This code is going to set the selected character strength to be 21. So kind of the way this works is exclamation point set Atra says we're using the chat set Atra script. Dash dash cell says we're working on the selected character. And then what value are we updating for that character? Right now I'm just going to say dash dash strength, a pipe, and then the value that we're updating to. So we're going to up Charlia's strength to 21. Maybe she's just drunk a potion of giant strength. So I'm going to take this now, I'm going to copy it, put it into the chat, run it, and now two things have happened. You can see over here on the character sheet that Charlia's strength has gone up to 21, and we've got a message from chat set Atra saying that we updated her strength to be 21. Building on that, we can work with multiple attributes of the character simultaneously. So let's say that that potion Charlia just drank not only updated her strength to 21, but restored her to her maximum hit point value. We can do that with a line like this, where we say dash dash HP, a pipe, and then this percent HP underscore max percent says set the HP to whatever her hit point maximum is. So I've just reduced both her strength and her current hit points, and if I copy this line and run it again, you can see both her strength score and her current HP were updated, and we've got this message from chat set Atra telling us that we've done that. So up to this point, what we've done is set a value to another fixed value. We say our strength is 21, our HP is max. But most of the time during the course of a game, what you're really doing is modifying a value up or down based on some operation or action that you've just performed. So you've restored 2d4 plus 2 hit points. You've reduced your current number of channel divinities by 1. So chat set Atra also allows us to modify existing values up or down accordingly. So let's see our first example of how we do that with our Beast Heart's Generate Ferocity macro. So real quick recap, a Beast Heart has an animal companion who generates ferocity every round, and that ferocity is used to fuel the special powers that the animal companion has. So this macro right here, if I run this, what it's going to do is pop up a box asking me how many enemies are adjacent to my animal companion, in this case three, and then I say submit, and we get this message saying that six ferocity has been generated because the ferocity generated is based off of the number of adjacent enemies plus a D4. So here we just generated six ferocity. Well, what I wanna do is automatically add that six ferocity to this number right here. This is my companion ferocity. This is where I'm tracking how much ferocity I have available to me. So the way we're gonna do that 
is with a little bit of code like this. So let's break down the code I just pasted in. So to start with, exclamation point mod atra. This is another command from chat set atra, which says we're modifying a value rather than setting it. So we're going to increase or decrease the value rather than saying it is this fixed value. And then we have this name. So who are we updating? We're not doing the selected character anymore. We're doing this just for Charlia, my beast heart, because she's the only one who's going to be generating ferocity here. So name, Charlia, great. And then what are we updating? Well, it's this class resource. And the way we can tell that is you hover over the number on the character sheet and you can see we get a tooltip that says at class underscore resource. So that's what we're going to provide here. Class resource, the pipe, and then dollar sign bracket bracket zero. What we're doing here is we're saying, look at the macro back here and take the first die roll that was performed within that macro. So here we see we only have one roll. It's the number of adjacent enemies plus one D four. That's you see right here is inside these square brackets. That's an inline roll that's happening here. And basically what we're saying is whatever value came out of that roll is what we're going to put in here. And then finally, we end this with three exclamation points. When you use chat set atra commands in conjunction with the templates that Roll20 provides, you have to end it with three exclamation points. That's what tells chat set atra that we're at the end of the command. Now, one other thing to mention about this is this command, you may notice it's all on line one. In fact, if I turn off word wrap here, you're going to see it's all on a single line. That's important. We need to have this all on one line in order for it to work properly. So now what I'm going to do is copy this whole thing. And then I'm going to go into Charlia's character sheet here. I'm going to go to attributes and abilities. I've got the generate ferocity macro here. I'm just going to paste in what I've got. And now if we go back to her main character sheet, I'll minimize this. I'm going to say generate ferocity. How many adjacent enemies? We have three. All right, and let's watch our companion ferocity right here. And there we go. We see that we've generated seven ferocity. We've set that class resource to seven, and we've updated the ferocity on the character sheet to be seven. So that's how we can increase a value using chat set atra. Now let's have a look at how we would decrease a value. So over here, you can see that my cleric Zerakiel is in the midst of a zombie horde, and he wants to turn undead in order to drive the zombies away. So what I want to do is when he comes in here and clicks turn undead on his character sheet, I want that to automatically deduct one use of channel divinity from his sheet. And the way we're going to do that is with this command down here. So again, we're using mod atra to modify an existing attribute on the character sheet. Name, again, is going to be the character's name, Zerakiel. And then dash dash repeating resource dollar sign resource left. What is that? Okay, so earlier I showed you that class resource was this guy up here. But then Roll20 allows you to add additional resources as many as you want. Well, starting here, we have repeating underscore resource underscore left. And if I go down to this one, this is also repeating underscore resource underscore left. And this one is also repeating underscore resource underscore left. So these are numbered internally starting at zero. So zero, one, two. So what we're saying here is repeating underscore resource underscore dollar sign zero. So we're saying we're using this one and then pipe and minus one. And that's saying we're reducing that value by one. And again, I'm using the three exclamation points at the end to say we've hit the end of the command. So now what we do is we go into our character sheet, we find the turn undead entry, we click on this little cog, that lets us edit it, and at the very bottom I'm just going to paste in that command where we modify the attribute, right? So got that pasted in, and now when I click turn undead, we notice that Zerakiel currently has two channel divinities, I click turn undead, it puts it into the chat so that my DM knows the full effects of this ability. And then chat set attribute says that we just set repeating underscore resource to one for Zerakiel and it has reduced it by one. So now let's take a look at our final example, which is going to be using chat set Atra in a healing potion macro to restore HP to our character. 
So here's a healing potion macro that I created in a previous video. And what we're going to do is add the following code to it. Exclamation point, and you'll notice it's mod B atra. And that's not a typo. What that B is doing is saying whatever value that we're modifying can't be greater than the maximum value for that attribute. So what we're saying here is if Zerakiel is at 58 HP and he drinks a supreme healing potion that restores more than 30 HP, his HP will not exceed his hit point maximum. So we won't be setting this higher than the maximum value allowed. So we're using mod B attribute to bound that. So we won't go higher than the max. And then dash dash care ID at target pipe character ID. What this is going to do is instead of saying we're healing Zerakiel or we're healing Charlia or we're healing the selected character, what we're going to do is pop up a targeting box that will allow us to click on who we want to heal. And this is really useful because a lot of times you're going to have your characters who want to feed a potion to a downed ally and they themselves cannot select another character. You have to target that character. So that's why we're going to do this. And then we have this silent flag. What this is going to do is this will suppress the output from chat set Atra. We've always had this green box being whispered to us throughout the course of this video. But if you don't want that to pop up, we can say dash dash silent and that will suppress this while still updating the HP on the character sheet. And then finally, dash dash HP, this is the value that we're updating. And again, we're using that syntax to select the first role that we have in the template. And we have the three exclamation points saying that this is the end of the command. So now what I'm going to do is I take this whole thing, copy it, and then I'm going to put it in my healing potion macro. I've actually already set that up. I've got it pasted in right here. Let's minimize this. All right, and now I'm going to click the healing potion macro button right here. Who do I want to target? I'm going to target Zerakiel. I'm going to have him drink a supreme healing potion. Submit. And there we go. We can see that the supreme healing potion was used. Zerakiel recovered 48 hit points, but he was at 58. And so we just went up to the maximum and we didn't exceed that. So mod B Atra is going to allow you to not exceed the maximum value. And incidentally, it doesn't allow you to set a value lower than zero either. So it's bounded from zero to whatever the maximum is. So there you have it. That's how we can use chat set Atra to set and modify values on character sheets. And I'm going to put all the code for these macros down in the description below, along with a link to some additional documentation on chat set Atra, because we really just scratched the surface of what it's capable of in the course of this video. Thank you again to Jacob for writing this. It really is a great script. And folks, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, have a great day.